Guy and Ben Smith from Spro Freestyle and we're down here today with Max from Total Fishing Tackle to do a little bit of lure fishing in Norfolk. Max is uh, predominantly a carp angler but um, his first fish was actually a perch so uh, we've invited him down and we're going to show him a few modern techniques um, that can sort of get his spark going again for perch fishing really. Um, so we, yeah, we're going to run through a few tactics that we're using today. So this morning we went out, um, it was really cold, lovely frost on the ground. Um, we did a bit of jigging, uh, a bit of drop shotting, really finesse fishing. Um, we had a few small perch, but it didn't really go to plan. Um, we had a nice pike though, which was a nice surprise, probably mid-double, um, but a really, really good fight on the, on the light lure gear. perch fishing on the river here in the city use a Komodo shad and we just had this little surprise nice pike really pretty colours as well but we've now come to this second location um, hoping to get onto a few better perch so the first method we've been using today is a Texas rigging. So we've got a Spro 5, five gram tungsten uh, sinker on there, just threaded straight onto the line. We've then taken a Gamagatsu 330 hook and a 2.0 two size, um, tied that on with a blood knot, and then we've just weedless rigged a Komodo crawl, which is a nine, nine centimetre Komodo crawl, lovely flapping action, brilliant bait, nice reaction bait, just fish close to the bottom, just let it float down. So the rivers we're fishing are quite snaggy, so what I mean by weedless is basically a method of creating, of hiding the hook point. So what you do, you hook it in a certain way so that the point goes back into the bait. And because it's a really wide gape hook, as soon as that perch or whatever it might be grabs it, it reveals the hook point and then you can set the hook. And that's been working really well for us today. The next method is a bottom jigging weight. So the hook end down is exactly the same. We've got the 330 hook in a 2-0, weedless reed, like I said, hook point just nicked into the bait so it's completely weedless, you can't get snagged up on anything. But instead of the tungsten weight, we've got a fixed um, chev weight. So what that means is there's loads of loads of articulation in the bait. So when that goes down, that stands up on end, follows the, follows the weight down, and then settles on its own. And that just gives you lovely, lovely movement of the lure. This is actually the, uh, the, the rig that Max has been uh, catching on today, actually. And he's just had a nice, nice perch, about a pound and a half. Um, and I'll tell you what, he's really enjoying fishing with proper rods. <laughs> Can I say proper rods? <laughs> Not carp rods. So we've got the Freestyle Skills Versatile rod he's been using in the 7 to 24 gram. And uh, yeah, great rods for creature baits. You need a little bit of backbone in the tip, just a little bit of backbone, a little bit of stiff tip, just to set the hook. Coming down to the reel, we've got a Freestyle Skills reel on there to match the, match the rod, complement it really well. Um, it's nice and light, so it balances the rod perfectly, um, so you can use it all day. Um, nice and small, like I said, but it's got loads and loads of space in the small, you've got more than enough braid on there. Um, the braid itself is the Gamagatsu G-Power Neo Braid in 09 diameter. Um, really fine, cuts through the water really well, um, you can fit all the little bites. And it amazes me that Max has not used braid before for lure fishing, and he's just used mono, so I'm surprised he's ever caught anything. <laughs> um, but I think we're going to get a bit more fishing done now and see what we can catch. Brand new to the Spro range is the CRX Predator rods and reels. A massive range of rods, covers everything from ultra light jigging and finesse fishing all the way up to chucking big old dead baits. So whatever you're into, there should be something in that range for you. The particular model that we've been using today for our drop shotting in the city um, was this uh, ultra light drop shot and finesse model. 
uh, 3 to 18 gram casting weight, so a nice wide range of casting weights. So you can do little 3 and 4 gram jig heads all the way up to sort of 10, 15 gram jig heads and everything in between. It's brilliant for it. This particular model has got a solid tip, so it's nice and soft in the tip, so you can see all those little delicate bites on the drop shot, and then it's obviously spliced them into a nice powerful rod, um, so you can, you know, if you catch a, a sort of double pike, easily handle it. The reel itself is a nice compact reel, really smooth, um, different sizes. This is the 2000 size. That's packed with, again, the Gamagatsu Neo Braid um, in the same diameter, 09. Um, really robust braid. Um, you can feel every little bite through it. So that's the new CRX Predator range of rods and reels from Spro. These are a couple of the better fish we've had today, um, a pound and a half each, nice looking little perch. Um, we've had a great time here, uh, it's getting a bit late now, the bites have dried up, so uh, I think we're going to call it a day. Yeah, I think so. Uh, thanks for inviting me down here. That's alright mate, it's, it's been a pleasure. It's been great to relive the uh, first fish that I caught yeah. back in the day. Yeah, I do love this species. Yeah, they are, they are lovely fish. Yeah, so uh, until next time. Yeah. Which hopefully that'll be very soon. Yeah, hopefully, mate. Right? Yeah. Be good. Cheers for watching, guys. Thank you.